Hello and welcome to the Courtesy Flush. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. Welcome everybody. Joining me tonight is Mecca, who is going to join me on an adventure Hello. into the land of Kalima. Yes, we're going to go bromance some stones, apparently. I'm looking for rocks, guys. We're going to bromance. I'm going to live out my geologist dreams. Because who doesn't have a, a healthy a healthy love of geology and rocks and wraith? Wraith Dark Star, don't you dare encourage my husband. Don't encourage him. <laughs> a handicap of one, because I don't think she'll... I mean, that's true. I am probably going to accidentally... Uh, I'm going to... Let's be honest. I will get Graham killed, because I will die at least once in this game. I at think least be once, fine. I know me. He'll be fine. I think I'll just do... Fine. I think he'll be just fine. That's why I have a kill and death counter, yeah. so you can always keep track of how badly we're doing. We also have Obviously. a... It's still very weird to see the Sierra game with a K KDR. <laughs> but we've, we've reached that point where that's Listen. basically what's happening now. Listen, what? My goal... I fully accept that I will get Graham killed because it is me. This is a Sierra game. I am hoping not to actually kill any of the other characters. What well, would nearest here need to duck out quick because I've met geologists and they're weird. <laughs> I, 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 I do like ge uh, bits of geology and gyms and stuff. Background it's rocks. It, it, it goes with my magpie tendencies and also my like of knickknacks, fossils and things. That's paleontologist, though. You would never right? yet yeah, a little, just a little bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Look at this. We're underwater. Yeah. My crown will get is going to get more elaborate. I'll probably scorch. I may not do any more hats for this game. Uh, that is a good idea, but I don't know if I'll be able to. And I don't know if I will, just because. Oh shit, we up in it. Hey, it is Exemplus. How's it going? Exemplus! Beep, beep, beep. Hey, to square. And square. Romancing the stones. Introduction. These are the stones. Look at that intro. Let's watch it. A G D I. You guys are great. Yes, I A -G -D -I agree. A G D I is fantastic. Retro, we're not reliving the fact of me finding out that ice is technically a rock or a mineral. No, we're not reliving that. <laughs> oh, this is... I love this. Oh, so good. Thank you, Roberta Williams and Daniel Stacy. And these guys for making the backgrounds and music. And these guys. And Sierra. And Sierra. Oh. Brittany Brimhall. The man and Christopher T. Warren. Oh wow! Look, we're back at the very beginning, where it all begins. We are. We're back at the beginning. And Christopher T. Warren. Mm -hmm. Again, for this guy. Who's this guy? No. Oh, I look so. Bo Grab looks so bored. Yeah. Your Majesty. That dude does not look uh, like the same guy. King Graham? That does not look like black hair. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, Minister. Um... Gervain, sire. Of course. Oh. My apologies, Gervain. Not necessary, Your Majesty. After all, I've been your security and defense minister for but a short while. Yes. Where did you say you were from again? Just some small and significant land to the far south. Hills greatly that in comparison like to your all realm. Over island. It. Ah, do you have something to report? As a matter of fact, my liege, there's a small concern regarding the duty shifts of some of the castle guards and of the countryside patrols. Yes. Also, we are expecting our armed entourage from our nearest neighbor to return within the week. That's good to hear. And there is the matter mm -hmm, of an alliance mm -hmm. with... My liege? What? My apologies again, Minister Gervain. Please, continue. 
Yes. I just get bored of these. As I was saying, there is the matter of an alliance with Usperia. They have become a strong nation now. And hey, it may be prudent to show our majesty. willingness to support them, oh, Ether, lest they decide up, we are more of a hindrance than a help. Does the king there have any daughters who've come of age? Uh, I do not believe so, sire. As for the security arrangements for the royal ball held last week, I do believe the evening went by very smoothly. I dare say just about every princess in this region attended, and not one last slipper, to coin a phrase. Ugh, please. Do not remind me. Indeed, they were none too fetching. Would you like me to go over your plans for today, my lord? Very well. Hmm? Oh, forgive me once again. I am afraid that my mind wanders much these days. I wonder if my predecessor experienced times like these. No doubt. Though I did not know King Edward the Benevolent personally, I understand he was a happy and astute man during his married life, before his wife passed away, that is. If I may be so bold, perhaps my lord is feeling that certain rooms in his castle are somewhat sparsely filled. The throne room, for example, and other rooms that serve but a single soul, like your dining room and your bed chambers. So are you are you are you offering? Are you going to sit here or are you getting a little bit on the nose here, yeah, man? He's offering. <laughs> no. Perhaps. No. <laughs> but I do fear I've met no such candidates that would fill the rooms you have mentioned. King Graham you should not booty. lose hard, your majesty. <laughs> oh my, no, if you pause no. to reflect for but a moment, you may see clearly what is hidden to others. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if we could trust. He just this walks away guy. and sighs to himself. Just because, all right, he's an advisor. He says, oh, "I'm just from some small, insignificant place. Don't worry about it." I feel like that has villainy written all over. <laughs> no. Are you sure? No. But look at this. Oh, majestic! You gaze into the mirror. The minister's words seem to echo in your head. If you pause to reflect for but a moment. Not that you've been doing much else lately. For many weeks now, you've been reflecting over the direction your life has taken. I went from a night of adventure to a king. While this is Daventry very dull. has prospered under your wise leadership, <laughs> so far your existence has been a well, dreadfully been, lonely though, one. Since I've been king as Wait, Graham. The mirror is changing. As you watch, you begin to see a series of images, though you struggle to fathom their meaning. You recognize mm. the landscape. It is Kalima, a land not far from Daventry. Oh, nice. Lovely. Hmm. Biff Hardback. <laughs> Mecca, you didn't tell Whoa. me there was 3D graphics? 3D? Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa, look at this. Oh, those Super ducks. Super 3D. This 3D from circa 1980-something. No, this is much later than that. Well, that's, uh, it looks like that's where the 3D's from. <sighs> what? What? Whoa. Now we're at a beach, man. That's a tower. Oh, it's one of those Why Final Fantasy towers. I'm good. She can stay there. It is. Oh, wait. Never, never oh, mind. It's a lady who looks very flat compared to the 3D surroundings. <laughs> Why is she so stupid? It's 3D. She's two-dimensional. I know, but it's a cool style. It is cool. I was not expecting that. Like, honestly, do they put that? Is that from the original game? No. <laughs> the original game had okay. none of these you graphics. You see the most beautiful woman you have ever <laughs> set eyes that? upon. When did they Somehow make this? you can feel her sadness and her intense no, no, desire the, uh, to leave that place. A -A she is a prisoner well, in that tower. Did you find her. what you were looking for, sire? Yes, possible evil advisor. I require my ship ready for transport, Gervain. I shall be going on a trip presently. Indeed. Where shall I tell the captain you'll be heading? To Kalima. I have to find someone. I see. 
Well, if you must go, it is my duty to ensure that you leave prepared. Arm yourself, sire. I hear Kalima is not the safe haven it once was. Of course. I shall take the sword of the first king, as is my right. A wise precaution, sire. And, uh... That sounds fancy. If I may be so brash to ask, who might you be seeking? No idea. If all goes well, my bride. No idea who she is, but we got to save her. Let's get this hat off. Ah, uh, yeah. Swap hats. Sword. Well done. Things are supposed Meanwhile, to Meanwhile, in Kolima. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this place looks metal. Oh, boy. Look at that metal. <gasps> Goblin wizard? Witch? Thing? Father. Sister Agatha. How may I be at service? An opportunity Witch has arisen, sister. I trust you still have your captive held securely away. Of course. A bit cruel, keeping her locked away like that. Do you not think? No. How dare she flaunt her beauty in front of all to see? Her foolish male admirers see her and forget that I was the most beautiful of all in my day. And in your Were own you? special way, you are still beautiful. <laughs> you devil! That is not an unfair description. Now, you mentioned the service, I believe. Yes. The King of Devontry has advised his faithful minister that he shall be departing for Kalima presently. On a quest, you might say. Really? What kind? The kind that involves sticking his neck out to rescue a damsel in distress. And what have I to do with his neck? Put simply, my dear, sever it. What is he do What is Graham She's done to going you? going on a yeah. king's quest. You have effects. The second one effects. Quest for the ladies. Hey, how's it going, Ryder? Thanks for the courtesy. Welcome back. Ooh. Seven Goblin months. King of the Dark Sun Galaxy, the ride. Oh my gosh, no, now you're just putting glory hammer to Larry. <laughs> A day's Great journey song, in from Daventry has found you by the shores of Kalima. Your ship, the Grand Thethora, it's and its crew have deposited you and will return the day after tomorrow. Hopefully, this will give you enough time to locate and release the imprisoned woman you saw in the magic mirror. Two days? I have two days to do this? You're fine. Let's just save the game. Two days? Your first save. You always have to have your first... I also like how your ship is like, look, Kalima is... Kind of sketch, so we're just gonna go back to our port. <laughs> <laughs> You're not giving me enough time for this. Some crates have been unloaded at the end of the pier. You do not know where they came from, except <laughs> certainly not from your vessel. The labels are in a foreign language you don't understand. Okay. What was the inch? That the rope is old, yeah. worn, and weathered. It would be of no use to you. What do you mean that was the intro? The intro is it was literally. It a great intro. It was a great entry. I think you missed it entirely, Ray. Time for sword fighting. <gasps> uh, we're gonna go this way along this path here. That seems like the prep. That just seems like the right thing to do. Okay, you do what you gotta do. We'll go this way. Yeah. There's a little cottage back oh, there. It's a little house. Let's go say hi. Hello. P people. Ah, oh, we got a mailbox. It Let's is a mailbox. It. This is the first time you have ever set eyes upon one. Which isn't surprising. The postal system won't be invented for another few centuries to come. The residents of this land must either possess clairvoyance or just simply be ahead of their time. Yeah. <laughs> must be Italian. It says Fragile. Flower bed. A row of red flowering plants grow happily in this well tended plot. The door of the little cottage is kept closed. You decide to respect that. Can I go knock on the door, though? I want to knock on the door. I want to be polite. You attempt to open the door, but find no, it is knock. locked. You think you can hear the sound of labored breathing inside and decide against causing any further disturbance. Okay, I guess they're sleeping. I'll be back. I feel like I'm going to talk to you later, especially about your postal system. That seems like a pretty neat thing. Hopefully you don't lose any letters in the mail. 
I'm surprised you didn't try to take anything from the mailbox. You know what? That's a very good point. Hold on. What would, the, what would this be a Sierra <laughs> game without doing a little bit of... Um, I was just sitting there like, wait, why didn't here? you try to open the mailbox? I thought that was like... You know, I honestly don't know. I'm just so used to, you know, don't mess with people's mailboxes. Yeah, but no, you're, you're polite. What am I thinking about? You open it's the mailbox. Game. Inside, there is, incredibly, a letter addressed to the resident. You decide to leave it in there. A card has been dropped in it also. You read it. <laughs> Have you been missing church services lately? Oh no. <laughs> how long a wh how long a while since how long a while? How long a while so, since your last confession? There is still time to yet to yet your repent your sins before the final hour. Come to the Church of Kolima to pray for your own salvation. Or just make a donation. It's right over there in the corner. Put your faith back into the church and walk your path that has been laid out before you. Hours from dusk till dawn. That How sounds sketchy. While? How long How before long Mecca while? finds the evil cult that, in the woods? That's just... How long a while has... How long a while since your last confession... Since. What do you How want? How long a while since? That's, that's no, you just want everyone to have like kind of like a southern draw to it. How y'all been? How y'all been? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You no, are no, pleased. No, gotta... You're a... you get it. A... No, we're no, we, we're we're going to do this now. We're going to do this now because you said it. Now I I must I must. You open the mailbox. All right, all right. I'm a reporter, alright? Now, have, have you been missing church services lately? How long a while since your last confession? There's still time yet to repent no. your sins before the final hour. Come to Church of Kalima to pray for your own salvation. <sighs> or just make a donation. Put your back into the church and walk the path that has been laid down before you. Hours from dusk till dawn. By the way, dusk till dawn, we're a vampire church. Don't tell anybody. I don't know if it's a vampire church, but I feel like with the hours of dusk till dawn, it's a vampire church. <laughs> you replace the card and close the mailbox. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> you said something dry. I had to. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Was it a little too much? How did I do, guys? How? Oh, how it's fine. <laughs> how bad was that voice? <laughs> yeah, well, bless your little old heart. I knew Laura Bow was a vampire, of course. <laughs> of course she's a vampire. How else do you think she'd be go dealing with them sparrow curses and such if she wasn't a vampire? You see, you've heard of World Darkness. They got mummies and stuff and vampires and all that. Oh God! <laughs> Am I joking? <laughs> so, so Whoa! Melting. Check out hey, those logs. We're going to check out this log. That looks this like a large log. fallen log is all that remains of a once grand tree. This large fallen log. Okay. Use your hand on it. Hey. Anything in there? You Hello. peer into the depths of the dark hole. Ooh. As luck would oh. have it, you discover a beautiful set of earrings, earrings hidden inside. Nice. Each one is laced with glittering diamonds and contains Ooh. a lovely blue sapphire stone in the center. Perhaps someone stashed them here. At any rate, you take them into your possession. <laughs> Mine now. <laughs> Don't just stash earrings in a log. Someone's definitely going to take them. This stump is too heavy for one man to lift. I doubt that. This stump. Okay. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a BPL. Rocks are synonymous with nature, hence your frequent encounters with them. We're gonna have a BPL ox log off. We're gonna just all try to lift a log. Yeah. Who can lift the biggest log? It's kind of like that, except hernias will be involved. A large lemon tree grows by the path. Ooh. Can I grab a lemon? The lemons on the ground are spoiled. You would do best to pick a fresh one from the nearby tree. Well, can I grab one? I'll take a lemon. You reach like out and pluck a large, juicy-looking <laughs> lemon from the tree. Mm, I love the smell of lemon. Yeah. It's so good. Lemonade. 
These plants have long branches with very fine leaves. I don't even know where we're going. We're just trying to figure our stuff out right now. Yeah. Yes, a caber toss. You got to keep going all the way to the edge of the screen. Yep. Oh, yeah. The ox caber toss. My gosh, I've seen the cabers that uh, they do at Highland Games. Oh, Dave, that looks like you go over there. What do you think? Keep going to the right or go that way? You are the one on this quest, Mecca. Uh, I am, I am here as your guest. I'm, well, actually, I am too because I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> Pumpkins! This pumpkin is somewhat larger than the others in the patch. Time to take can a I, pumpkin with us. Can I pick you it? look for a nice, large pumpkin to take from the patch. I'm going to take it. Hello, pumpkin. Ah. Hey! Watch it! No! Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry. I was not aware you could talk. Likewise! <laughs> anyway, be careful where you're treading! You're spoiling the good soil by standing so close! And I got eight kids to feed! You glance at Fuck. the smaller pumpkins. These must be her children. I only count seven. Yeah, well I had eight! Oh god. Then some strange man who spoke even stranger came by! He claimed to be a... Hort... A hort up. Sure, that is true. <laughs> Let's talk to this plant some more. Not here's my question why is the pumpkin talking and not the plant itself? Because the pumpkin like... is the flower, N but it's also the, the, the... But... you don't uh, think okay. the mother pumpkin would allow you to simply remove her from her baby? Oh. No, no, sorry, wrong button. Pardon me for asking, but how did you come by the ability to talk? With a question like that, I might ask you the sign. I was only... I don't take it poisonal. That old witch had to cast a spell on me so I could guide her precious possessions. Hagatha? Yeah, she's the old bat who lives in that cave to the west. <laughs> you know the type. Green warts, pointed ears, cannibalistic, doesn't put her trash out. Just your stereotypical evil old crown. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds pleasant. You mentioned something about guarding Hagatha's precious possessions. At least, what she considers precious. <laughs> I reckon they're anything but. Mind you, I have my doubts about Hagatha's legitimate ownership of this stuff, if you know what I mean. What sorts of items does Hagatha wish you to guard? Oh, uh, the usual vanities. All useless in my opinion. But what would I know? The Where mother they, pumpkin I... looks distressed. You decide not to interrupt her at the moment. You should save your game to avoid having to We're... have this conversation again. We're going to. Dark magic, that's, that's like... why. You did call it. Hey, more that's auto cannons. Yes, you did. You got a freaky Jacker Lantern as your welcome. You push the bush. Well done, Mecca. You push the bush. You push the bush. I was hoping to see, like... T so, can I go this Unless way? Unless you have eaten some white snake, you are not going to have much luck conversing with the trees. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I'm... You need that, to get some that. of that white snake. The band? <laughs> Don't can worry about way? it. Don't worry about I it. I can't go that way. Okay, okay. <laughs> but there's a band called White Snake, right? Yes. Yeah. That, I'm so <gasps> oh, a swan. Do you talk? Any wisdom Quack. that this swan has learnt will sadly hey, never Kai. be shared with you. Hello. Oh, you must be a mute swan. What about the bibbis? They're too young to talk. Wait, swans can't talk. Yeah, but neither do pumpkins, and yet here we are. <laughs> uh, and there you go. Right into the water again, Mecca. <laughs> right through the water. Hey, I just asked him to come over here. It feels fine. Yeah, it feels fine. I want, but this this looks like is thing. the northwest corner of Weirwood Forest. Passage to the south is blocked by a plethora of large bushes and plants. To the west, you see the rear of some sort of cave. To the far west, you notice a path running north. Ooh. Well, then let's go west, because no. we can't go anywhere else. 
But we also could go on the path, which I think leads to town. Do whatever your heart desires. Here. Hmm. It Sounds kinda. Like... I, I feel like if we go to the west, where the where Hagatha it's is, up to we you. might die. Let's let's go back and see if we can get to town. Mm -hmm. Because well, the pumpkin confirmed. There's a town nearby, which is more than we could say for what we found in Daventry, which is really weird considering I'm sure there's more than just that one woodcutter and his wife in Daventry, but we never we don't found them. we don't want to go to <laughs> we don't want to go to Daventry. There that town's a little sketch. Actually you can, I believe, in King's Quest eight. <laughs> Nobody will listen to White Snake with me, so here I go again on my own. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you going down the only road you've ever known? <laughs> Are you sure this is the way to town? Just because a sign points you there? Yeah. It says town. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, I'm going on the path. I'll I like how like. he doesn't even step on the grass. No, he's going down the path. There's a path. You follow the path. Oh, there's so, oh, got to be wait, something. There is a there's... sizable hole in one of the trees. It's just your size. When you peer Let's into see. the hole of the pine tree, you see a mallet lying there. You pick it up and take it with you. I got you. a hammer. Yeah. Now you have a mallet. I this do. tree has a large knot hole on its side. Is there anything in this knot hole? There is nothing in this knot hole. There you go. Uh, just answered your boo. question. Okay. All right, let's keep going to town. Someone's probably going to look for this mallet. <laughs> oh, look, Kalina. Hey, look. Oh, there's a It is haystack. likely that this haystack was piled here by farmers from the town. A faded blue sheet has been tightly stretched across it to prevent the straw from blowing away in the wind. If I stick my hand in it, will I find a needle? Hey! Uh, no. What? Who said that? The haystack. I did. It's such a haystack talking. And down here, in the hay. Oh. oh. Well, who are you? <clears throat> My name is. Uh. Um. Yes. Hmm. I can't seem to remember. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Get out well, of the hay, then. then. What are you? Oh, I'm a. Um. Uh. Yes. Hmm. Can't seem to remember that either. Well, what are you doing in this haystack? That's easy. I was looking for. Oh. Um. You can't remember. Yeah. No. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> How long Think have you been? Get the Let's see. It couldn't be longer than. Uh. Yes. Three, maybe four weeks. I'm sorry. Weeks? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pardon me for saying, but you sound as if you have a bit of a cold. Yes, it's all this hay. It's giving me hay fever. That's not what hit that. What's that? Wait. Ah. Uh. Get out! Get out of there! The haystack, or rather, whoever or whatever is inside it, is no longer responsive to your inquiries. If that's a mouse. Uh. Well. It could be you anything. You need something for a cold. <gasps> oh my gosh, people and You a see horse. a man bending over the fountain. He appears to be trying to retrieve something from it. Oh, let's go. That's obviously a thing. We need to go. Wait. Uh, um, got him. That's the loading yeah, crown. Oh, there's the pumpkin. He just took money out of the pool. The town gives you a pleasant feeling. You're just touching it's the grass, quite literally. <laughs> You're, well, you were touching the grass, literally. <laughs> I did not mean to. But look, it's the pumpkin. Hans. A year on, and you still look pretty darn good. You have entered yeah. the town of Kalima. What a charming place. Residents, farmers, and merchants make their way to and fro along the paths. A statue has been erected here, and many stores line the road to the east and north. Two buildings in particular catch your attention. The antique shop and one. the town library. Probably over here. Greetings, merchant. Who are you? Ah, to you, good day. Mimi! Oh, no, a visitor arrived, you know, a sense I possess for these things. Need you have for my wares of great specialty? 
Perhaps. What is that accent? First, I'm curious. Where did you come by such a pumpkin? Eyes quite keen, nephew. Indeed, a specimen unique it is. Oh, poor thing. The gift of speech among plants. He had a, he had a yes. British Quite accent. So. <laughs> planning to sell it? Sell. I don't think that's British. No, he did for a these? second. It'll make me incredibly rich. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> entrusted in what See? I get. Watch over it, I must. Mama, take me back to my mama. I'll get you back to your pumpkin, mama. I'm not taking you back to that patch. So pipe down. Pardon? Ah, of importance I speak not. Trouble to your ears I meant none. Why are you doing Hold on, this? To I yourself? gotta change something. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I give him the earrings if he'll give me the um the pumpkin. I he was trying to be like pseudo Indian and it's really weird. Yoda stole a pumpkin baby and turned into a weird man. Yeah. Let's see. Can I talk to the pumpkin? Um, no. Sorry. Aw. We'll get you back to your mama. Hey! hey. Good merchant. Does this interest you? Thanking you, but no. Alright, alright. What about... What about this? Because this is like the... You know what? Let's try the lemon. Does this interest you? Thank you, but no. The lemon, such bitterness I care not to taste. How dare you. I mean, they can be pretty sour. Oh, you can't these? use that there. Darn it! These are for something else. No, no, you I can click on them. Pixel. Oh, wait, do not? Oh, Pixel. Good merchant, does this interest you? Thanking you, but no. Okay, I guess I need actual money. Because pumpkin is so sad. This you horse must have skipped breakfast. Yeah, it's just eating out of someone's, like, flowers. The horse doesn't belong to you, Graham. Just leave it be. I wanted to pet it. Aw. The farmers are deep guys. in conversation. You think it best okay. not to interrupt them with idle chit-chat. Look inside the fountain. We're going to. Crystal clear water sparkles in the fountain. A few valueless pennies lie at the bottom that the merchant didn't bother taking. Well, there's something else he wanted to take from there. Okay. You consider you confronting merchant the merchant about the theft of the pumpkin, but as a stranger in town, you don't want to cause a scene. Perhaps a more subtle approach is in order. Hmm. Oh, there's a door on the far right as well. There's like a sign on it. Besides the library? No, yeah, that's to the far right. The, uh, that one? Yeah. Let's go over there. We gotta do something to get that baby pumpkin back. The door is plain and has a mail slot. It also has a sign posted on it. You read it. The family of the deceased wishes to thank all who have expressed their condolences over the passing of their loved one. Frederick enjoyed life and literature and had an ever-present, if sometimes wicked, sense of humor. May his soul be at peace in the realm of the dead and may its lord judge him worthy of eternal happiness. You also notice something sticking out from under the door. What's that, Mecca? You are unable to retrieve anything from there. Hmm. You can't quite get your fingers on whatever is visible under the door. I don't think we have anything that would... Oh my god, Mecca, no. Brandishing your sword <laughs> might make you appear an accomplished fighter, but you will not make many friends by being careless with it. Besides, okay. it's valuable. Take care of it. I was just going to use it to, like... Making sure that no like, one is watching. It. You slide your thin it, blade yeah. under the door and Jeez, draw yeah, out what all. appears to be a You just letter. have to click the right pixels, that's all. Alright, let's take a look at this letter. It is a letter addressed to the resident of the you town. You have to use your hand on it to open it. You open the letter and read it. What's it say, Mecca? Dear applicant, oh. please find and close the library membership card to which you are now entitled. The five-year application process has concluded, and we are pleased to inform you that your status Damn. as a member five of the town years? library is confirmed. Welcome to an exclusive group of patrons. Yours sincerely, town librarian. P.S. Please sign your name on the card to ensure validation. Five years. Five years? Like, anytime I've got a library card, it takes like, you know, a day. Five years. 
five years. That's ridiculous. Let's this let rip every special. Oh, look. Why are her eyes so green? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I know it's the pixel art, but my god. Maybe she's just maybe she's really nice. May I help you? Yes. The glasses. I was hoping to ah. enrich my knowledge of this fair land by way of perusing your historical texts. My, that was well put. Yeah. No. What? Not terribly effective, though. I have a library card. A ask her. Oh, okay, yeah, let's, we'll do that first. Um, pardon me, perhaps I was not clear? You were. Then may <laughs> I? No. <laughs> oh, she's what? rude. Why can't I? You are not a member. Well, then, can I become a member? No. <laughs> what? Why can I not become a member? We already have far too many members. It's difficult to keep track of everything. How many members are there? Two. <laughs> what? If I may inquire, who are your two members? You may not. Neither the Count of Kalima nor the elderly gentleman who lives next door would approve of my divulging that information to you. Ah. Thank you anyway. <laughs> she, well, the two that live next door, I'm pretty sure, is dead. You mentioned that the Count of Kalima is a member of this library. Yes! Have you seen him recently? The librarian looks at you strangely. No! <laughs> is there any way I might meet the Info Count? Info Yes! <laughs> How? Die! What? <laughs> he must be no, he must be dead. I would have to die to meet the Count? Depends. On what? Your importance. And if I am important? Then you might be fortunate enough to be buried on his estate. <laughs> what? Who is buried on the Count's estate? Counts. Aha. Uh -huh. Past Counts, of course. Anyone else? Yes. Who? Him. Pardon? Do you mean the Count is dead? The librarian decides to avoid your gaze and seems disinclined to speak further with you on the subject. <laughs> this lady. Will you accept this? No. Why not? <laughs> it has not been signed. Oh, there's a pen right there I on mean... the desk. What are you doing? I was just... Don't! <laughs> what are you doing? Doing. I was just. Don't. <laughs> need to sign this sign somewhere oh else. Then I guess. No, no, no. There's got to be a way. You no. glance at the titles on this shelf. Remember the Triton, an autobiography from the ruler of the Mer people. All right, all right. Let's see. You would not That's... know where to start. Perhaps the librarian could be of help here. What? Look at the librarian. <laughs> Does she have any special no, about her? Not. A rather plump and stern-looking woman is seated behind the desk. Every so often, she glances run. away and appears to lose her train of thought. The monotony of being a librarian must be getting to her. Maybe when her when she turns away, you can try doing it like really quickly, you like that. Oh, you like that? Okay, yeah. okay, we'll go back over here. Lady Meta Knight, only an adventure game streamer that isn't military. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? It's good to see you, Lady Meta Knight. Oh, hello. Welcome. I'm just waiting for her to turn her head. Just turn your head, lady. Come on. This soundtrack is really loud for some reason. <laughs> oh, it works. You quickly grab the quill <laughs> while the librarian isn't looking and sign your name on the blank <laughs> library. Yeah, nice. You know what we're going to do? You, you know what the we're going to do? Before the librarian notices it missing. We're gonna save real quick. Oh my gosh! We got it. We got it. All right. Well done. Library nonsense. See, I'm trying to think like this game back in originally 1985 logic uh -huh. when you're doing stuff in this. So it's like if there's a pen and quill here, it's the place to do the thing. They probably wouldn't have put one somewhere else. Because you remember, this was like super... I'll show you screenshots of it, Mecca. It was super oh, basic. Yeah. yeah. Will you accept this? Yes. You are younger than I expected. Uh, I eat well and get a lot of exercise. I see. So, what do I do now? 
borrow. You mean I can take books from this library? No. Oh. Uh, what does that mean? Yeah. Yes? Could you recommend a good book? Oh, she just scurries away so fast. Oh. There. Let's see what steamy love novel she throws in front this, of you. This lady's so rude. The has placed the book on the desk for you to read. Thoughtful, isn't she? Let's take the book. This book is entitled, Kalima, Perfect One Day, Better the Next. Browsing through it, you notice an interesting excerpt. Ooh, go ahead, Mecca. Look Whoa. at all that. <clears throat> if you're considering traveling to the wondrous lands of Kalima, then you should be congratulated on your timing. For indeed, it has changed much since certain many years ago. A very occasional earthquake that has altered the land to the east somewhat, creating a deep chasm near the mountainside. The changing ocean levels in this region have caused an alteration to the shape of the coastline. And, of course, the people themselves have relocated from where they once lived. Most now reside in the town, which is nestled in the safety of the mountains. Everybody in this one kingdom lives in this one town? Oh my gosh. A wise decision for more than a few have claimed to hear the sounds of howling and ice, a sound that many wild animals have moved into the weirwood forest in recent times. As a result, few venture past the town gates, especially after dark. This isolation and relative scarcity of people throughout most of the realm has made Kalima a haven for the tourist who wishes to soak up the natural atmosphere of the land. It has also made a significant convenience for those who have settled in Kalima far from the town and wish to maintain their privacy to pursue their own ambitions in peace. The realm of Kalima is a wondrous land of beauty and for the adventurous among you, danger. See also <laughs> Guidebook to the Land of the Green Isles. Yeah, that's actually a reference to King's Quest VI. Now, I played yeah. in beat 5, 6, and 7. Those are the three I've actually played in beat. We beat. We just beat <clears throat> King's Quest One last stream. Now we're on to King's we Quest did. 2. Yeah, we beat... It took us like three streams to beat it. It was actually pretty short. Yeah. So this one's probably a similar it, thing. But yeah, King's Quest 2 uh, came out in 1985. So mm -hmm. a lot of this is... You got to think like super basic as to what's on the screen. And then if you see something here, Mecca, you just kind of have to think, oh, I have to do something here. Because... Yeah. Yeah. Space was a... Nothing else to say at unless the they add, Unless AGDI added something else. Which we're gonna find out. Oh, we will. We'll but yeah, a lot of things are inspired by six, and Absolutely. I agree. These pull-out drawers contain an index card system for locating <gasps> books. Ooh. King's Quest Six has got such great narration. To the librarian. Okay. Can you talk to her again? Ask her for. No, I just tried and said no. Unless you want, I can no, try one more okay. time. No, okay. you're fine. Let's go to the antique shop because that's the other thing. I was just like, oh, look here. You have to use your hand on the door. Get over there first. The door Not is locked. A sign next to it reads, Open from noon till sunset. The sun's position in the sky yet. indicates that it is currently morning. The owner must not be an early riser. Let's go this way. All right. Why not? The town continues way. to the north away, but you are not okay. interested in what lies in that direction. Yeah, actually, okay, never mind. I can't go that way. I was gonna say, yeah, Lady Meta Knight. Those are actually both my favorite as well for the same things. Uh, <laughs> this way. I I love uh, Quest for Glory for for the a lot of reasons. The continues to the east away, but you are not interested in what lies in that direction. Dang. Okay, I guess we're going to go back this way then. <laughs> we're only interested in the library, the antique shop, and this one guy with the talking pumpkin. So we gotta save that pumpkin, but we gotta find something to trade with the merchant, I bet. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back this way. And we're gonna go this direction. Because it's like a little split. Open twelve to one on Sundays. Channel the Twice power a year. of pizza. <laughs> Man, pizza sounds delicious. It does. And I God. <laughs> 
<laughs> open only on Sundays for an hour. <laughs> I know what you're referencing, Gretro. Oh my gosh. Let's go inside this... the spooky looking the church. The church door is made of very thick wood held together by iron bars. Hmm. Knock on the door. Hmm. Let's go inside. Hello? The door appears to be barred from the inside. The church must not be open at this time. Ah, all right. Yeah, because it's only from dusk till dawn. What about they the bell? Open at night. Oh, oh, you're right, you're right. A large brass bell sits atop the church. Can you touch You it? are not Laura Bow, so you do not need a bell. <laughs> wow. Uh-oh, oh, someone's what? feeling called out well, now. he's not wrong. I am currently not Laura Bow. I'm right now at this moment king graham but yeah you know if i was laura bow i'd be able to get that bell she does you know it <laughs> and the colonel's request <laughs> just just like i got that one dagger that was totally not from detroit but a actual pennsylvania Egyptian dagger. <laughs> i remember that no it was from it specifically it was from philadelphia Whoa, or, or hey, it's pittsburgh Philadelphia or Pittsburgh. Oh, hey, it's a kid. Mecca, you what are you doing? A quick little dwarf. It's Dwarves a dwarf. have a bad reputation for skin. Ah, go, go, no. No, no, no. You're not getting my stuff, dwarf. That was close. <laughs> oh. The dwarves of this Did game are treacherous. No, it doesn't look like no. we took anything. Okay. No, we got, we got away in time. Okay. Yeah, there's like so there's an evil here. dwarf and he's coming after your stuff and other elvish lies. <laughs> dwarf. All right, we're going to go and yeah, see if we go the way he came. Hey, Pelagian, how's it going? Let's just see. It does sound very dwarfist. Oh, hey. Graphics to music, the voice actor. What is this? There's a door built into the trunk of a large <laughs> tree. It appears to be closed. Can I open it? Knock. You rap on the treehouse door and wait a moment, but get no response. What is it we'll with scientists and pizza? Well, I don't know if you've ever found the pizza golem in Quest for Glory 2. You have come upon a quick little dwarf. Dwarves have a bad reputation for stealing Oh my gosh. They have a bad reputation for yep. stealing. Again, with these elvish <sighs> lies. I know, right? Okay, so but that yeah, I, lo I love that game, Lady Meta Knight. It's a great one. So there's the pumpkin patch. Yeah. So we're going to go back up to the pumpkin patch and go to the west. Okay. Are you hoping something will. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Can I. Oh, oops. Can you do what? Can I tell her that I saw her baby? The mother baby pumpkin lady. looks distressed. You decide. Okay. <laughs> Dwarves known for pumpkin. stealing things. It's like, whoa, hold on there, narrator. Maybe that maybe you think the Quickly, dwarves Cedric, tell me. Cedric isn't in this game. Oh look. A tree, now not much more than a stump, has presumably been reduced to its present size by a woodcutter. Ah. A log lies on the ground, apparently forgotten by whoever cut it from the nearby stump. Pick it up. Can I pick it up? Can it's I? It's time to take a stump with us. You look under the log, but find nothing. It was a good idea, though. Not going to give us points for I mean, it. Can, what I about checking that it. tree right there, the one that's cut up? This one? Yeah. A tree. Why you now it? Not, no, touch it. As it is heavier, denser, and larger than yourself, what? trying to move it would not be such a clever thing to do. That's not it what is we're a stick. It's a very big stick. I know. But apparently narrator thinks we just want to put it in our pocket. Okay. Hmm. Let's go this way. Yeah, I, it, he definitely has that six vibe for sure. <gasps> oh, wait. There's a cave, but what's over here? Sounds like the coastline. Probably coastline, maybe? Probably. Oh, look, a log. Yeah. Take it. It's another log. Time to take the log with us. All right, let's go look at that log. You notice a log lying on the beach. I did notice it. You look under the log and discover a clam lying Ooh. beneath it. You oh, pick it clam. Up. It's time to open a clam. 
You open the clam and discover, Ooh, to your surprise, a dazzling pearl. A dazzling pearl. The shiny, yes. beautiful pearl seems to radiate a soft glow. Ooh. It glows. That's probably radioactive. All right, cool. More than likely. <laughs> I love my radioactive pearls. My favorite. Hmm. Let's go this way for a little bit. I feel like we'll eventually make it back to the pier. Oh? Or not. What's over here? Uh, let's go this way. Uh, to the right. There we go. Yeah. Oh. A swamp. A few plants grow in this area. The ones closer to the swamp do not seem as healthy. Through the clearing, you can make out part of what appears to be a gloomy swamp. It does not seem overly <laughs> welcoming to visitors. Uh, let's go. Let's go check it out. Can we go Yeah, in? let's go into the swamp. You have It'll to click all, all the way to the edge somehow. of the screen. Yeah, there you go. I thought I did. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Whoa. All right, Mecca. Two small rocks lie on the ground in this area of the swamp. Uh, why are you pointing that out? One might deem it advisable to keep personal contact with this area to a minimum. Hmm. Ah. I feel like because of the steam effect, we may not want to go this way yet. What do you mean? Now that it's a little steamy, okay. you're like, oh no, I don't want to go all in. Right, but you're right, like, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> things hold around on. this forest seem to be dying. Swamp. And you're like, let's go right inside. And then a little steam and you're like, Ugh. all right, fine. You can't go up Just that as far high. as I can. The dark water looks foul and it reeks of something even fouler. You strongly suspect that it may be tainted by poison. Yes, but that's not true because you don't know until you try. Go down to the south. There we go. See if we can go that way. There we go. See, there's more swamp. There's more swamp. That's not too bad looking. Okay. Wait. I, wait, is that the same uh, screen? Yeah. Hold on. No, no. Okay. It must have been just okay. right. It's just messing with us. Uh, or maybe way, we're just, maybe we're just actually getting lost. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, swearing is allowed. Humidity does mess with my hair a lot. We're adults here. Okay, so we did come back. All right. Well, it seems kind of uneventful for the time being. We'll we'll come back to the swamp. I know we will have to. Because it's an adventure game. Okay. And swamps are like sewer levels. Inevitable. Oh, you might want to save this cave. Hold on. Yeah, you might want to save your game here <laughs> before you get in there and found Hagatha. <laughs> As you near him. the cave, the bat symbol above the entrance starts radiating an ominous black glow. Oh, that's a no-no. Oh. oh. Unless you are mistaken, the symbol above the cave entrance bears a striking similarity to a bat. A shiver runs down your spine as you look at it. It's almost as if some dark force were radiating from it. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you saw black glow. You did not slow. Turned not away. You've had your day. Oh, it's rhyming. All right. <laughs> now the death counter's up there. You know, I was actually not expecting that. Let's go this way. You've activated the death counter. Oh, no. What? Wh what is this? You I see a little know. girl wandering around the meadow. She wears a it's ruby red, red cloak red. and appears to be searching for something. Watch it be like hey. Gollum or something in a robe. Hello. Who are you? My name is oh, Graham. What is yours? Possum. That oh. is what my awesome. grandma calls me. She is not at all well these days. I was collecting flowers for her, but now I cannot anymore. Why is that? Why? My basket is missing. I have looked everywhere for it. It must be around here somewhere. I will keep my eye out for it. Thank you, Graham. Why does your grandma call her possum? <laughs>
Like, I want to proceed with Possum being her nickname, but why is it Possum? She, yeah. <laughs> it's because of her voice? Because that's a very chipmunky voice, I will say. Oh. Okay, so this leads back to the swamp. And that leads so to go... the cave of death. Okay, that's still just back to the swamp. Okay. Yeah, that they don't. Yeah. Right. So if I go here. Possum sounds like a hobbit. No. Nope. Go this way. We'll find your basket. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, it's like right over here. We're like, wow, hey. Oh, God, Mecca. You have run into an evil enchanter. Mecca, no! Hold on. I can run faster than him. See? <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't kidding. Colima is a dangerous place. Enchanter. You found an evil enchanter. I did. Let's, let's go back. See if we can get there before he shows up. He goes, lightning bolt, and your legs explode. And <laughs> you're like, oh, but how was I supposed to know? Oh, then we're back on the path. Okay. Okay, I know where this I know where this is now. All right. That all was right. yeah, that was some hashtag sick jukes. <laughs> oh sure. Oh no. I don't think you can go up there, can you? I don't know. No. It no, doesn't it doesn't look, like, look it. like it. Nope. Okay, let's go see if we give the uh, the pearls to the merchant then. Okay. Maybe he'll accept the pearls for the pumpkin. Don't worry, Mama Pumpkin, we're going to help you out. <laughs> it's because, the, no, the dragon didn't die from it. The dragon left because it was embarrassed that its pilot light went out. Yeah. Yeah, Mecha didn't Which kill the hilarious. dragon, just, just embarrassed it. Mm -hmm. It was like having a nap, and then someone walks in, spills water on its face, and then instead of like fighting you with its body, which is twenty times bigger, it just gets embarrassed and walks away. I'm gonna go this way. No, looks like it's just blocked. Okay. Hmm. The door, the sun's position in the sky indicates... It okay, died of embarrassment. <laughs> That's what it died of. You have no... Talk to this merchant I now. Do. You consider confronting the merchant about the theft. Mm. You have no... It is... Okay. So I can't... Hmm. There's a good chance. Wait, what did they? There's not a lot going on in that direction that would. Oh yeah, the quest for glory dragon is very much a cult. So. A tall <sighs> statue of a man stands prominently at the entrance of town. It looks to have been placed here quite a number of years ago. The statue bears a plaque which reads, "Count Kaldor, ruler and protector of Kalima." What a guy. Apparently he was, but now he's dead. Okay. All right, let's go see if we can go past the church. All right. So we come down here. I'm like if we could walk past it. Yeah, it is. A, yeah, Quest for Glory is definitely a different insanity. You wish to bypass the church? Yeah, we're going to walk past it, see what's beyond it. If that's what you want. Oh, I mean... I don't know why I'm yeah, being so out of this. Do. I don't know what's over there. <laughs> I have no idea either. We're going to find out. No, nothing. Looks like it's just another oh, dead end. We can't end. go that way. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm not sure where to go now. <laughs> Try going south on the next screen. Maybe there's something we haven't seen down there. Maybe? I got a I mean, chasm. It's just a chasm. Just keep going south, but don't fall into the chasm. Oh my gosh! Are you sure you don't want to fall in a chasm? I'm fairly certain that falling into that chasm. Would... Oh look, there it is. You take the basket. All right, let's go find and let's explode. Go find <laughs> it was trapped. How did her basket end up all the way over here, though? That's my question. 
Did the dwarf take it? Possum runs around a whole forest. Who knows? Okay. We've got to go up here, and then we can get back to Possum. I, I think I remember how to get there. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing way. with the cult in Quest for Glory 4. How do you get them to follow a voozle? It's like, it's a good question. It doesn't look, it look like they were just mm. kind of mad. Hey, Possum, I think I found your basket. You hand the basket to Possum. Thank you, kind sir. Please take this flower. I'm afraid it's all I have to give you. It is more than enough. I noticed that you have picked only yellow flowers. Of course. Is it not customary for one to pick yellow flowers for another who is gravely ill? Certainly it is. I'm sorry to hear about your grandma, Possum. Thank you. Goodbye. Wait, Why did does we... she sound so sad? Because her grandma... The yellow flower is very pretty, but has a sickly smell. I would be very careful with that flower. Let's go this way. Wait. What's over here? Wait. Go back. That piece of wood on the beach looks suspicious. And then we're back here. One of the pickets has fallen loose from the rickety fence. The fallen picket feels reasonably sturdy oh, and it. is pointed at one end. Believing hmm. that you may find a use for it, you retrieve it and carry it with you. Now you have the stick. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't know if I completely trust Possum. I'm confused by her now. Okay. So let's go this way. Which... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, wait. So if we go this way. It's over here. Can you knock on the door? Maybe this is how, because Possum's Ooh. back. Maybe? You attempt to open the door, but find no. it is locked. I'm only assuming that's her house. It probably isn't. Okay, this just leads us back here. All right. Well, hmm. Go right. Yeah. Oh, cool. That works. Uh, go right again. Yeah, this will take us back to the castle. I know, but we didn't go far past. Go south. Because we only just picked up the basket and then like went back immediately and didn't explore did. anymore. Okay. Check so that let's stump. go this way. Oh, wait. An old stump juts out of oh. the ground. There is no... Let's go to the right. Again. Yeah. Eat the flower? No. Oh, look, a bridge. a bridge. That looks safe. I think it is safe. All right. Bridge. Hmm. I'm okay, sure this bridge, bridge is safe. Look at it. The bridge spanning the chasm looks unstable and tottery. Are you entertaining thoughts about crossing it? Yes. Be careful, Don't Graham. You. Any sudden movements might cause the bridge to fall. All right. Should cross it carefully, then. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Right on the edge. Not oh, bad. Wow, nothing happened. That, that looks like a face. Uh, I think it might be a face. It's a face. It Incredible. What? The door you have discovered has taken on the appearance of a face. That's a face. That wasn't the face I was expecting. It seems to be waiting for something. It just looked like an I old man's just... beard. I didn't know it's expect I... this. Uh, greetings. I am King Graham of Daventry. Would you by the any face chance just goes, yeah, know so? the way to a strange <laughs> island on which stands a quartz tower in which a beautiful woman is being held captive? You feel more than a little foolish. Surely a door, even one with a face, would neither hear nor understand you. Hmm. I am the door of destiny. I have sought out my many, 
found by few and open by none so far. For indeed, only once can I be opened. Such is the magic that I am. Through me will you find the destiny you seek, if you cannot perform a task. Anything! You feel intense exuberance that you have come so close to your goal in such a short time. You is must it? bring me the gems of nature. I beg your pardon? The stone door rumbles from deep within. For a time, it says nothing. And then... Gems of three, I ask of thee Exposition. to fetch, collect, and bring to me. In water shall you find the first, though not the type to quench your thirst. Spy the second, high in the sky. With wings or no, thou still must fly. Through swampy mire, so it is heard, in lone dark castle lies the third. Should you succeed, my noble king, to your fair maiden, I will bring. I warn you, though, you should beware. A danger cloaked awaits you there. Hmm. Without warning, the stony face falls silent. As you watch, it gradually smooths out to become the mountainside face once more. Okay. You All notice right, that well. within the door, three shallow indentations have sunk into the rock's surface. Presumably, the three gems of nature must fit here. Hmm. Now all you have to do is find them. How did that poem go again? <laughs> Let's save the game. We are going to. It said something about like quest. water that won't quench your thirst. I'm assuming they're talking about the ocean. Wa yeah, water, then in the sky, One and then in a the... dark castle in the swamp. Yeah, so the first one's in the ocean. So I, yeah. I guess it gives us an idea of where we got to start. Okay, we can't go any further that way. All right, so the bridge is literally just so we can get here. Which means it's not going... Wait. A piece of paper Hello? has... A piece You're of... not close... You gotta go closer well, to that piece of paper. That up. Yeah, we're gonna go pick that up. Mecha, whoa! You have just discovered uh, the gravity of your situation. <laughs> <laughs> Restore. Nope, nope, oops. A day's... Hold on. I'm clicking the wrong things. I'm sorry. Ah! Gym quest. Okay. Uh, I keep forgetting about the horrible pathing of this game. <laughs> well, yeah, well, they are in Kalima. Yeah, exactly. The air feels fresh and warm. Paper. The paper is torn and dirty. It looks like a flyer of some sort. Yeah, womp womp. You smooth out the torn and tattered paper and read, Curios I have, to the town oh. do come, awaiting I am. That's a merchant. That's the guy uh, who had the pumpkin. That's yeah. his. That's his like way of talking. Go south. So. Because we've done we've done all this stuff over here. We have not explored. We have. We have. You have. Oh run no. Oh, no. Hey, you better walk away, Gandalf. That's not Gandalf. He's evil. Oh, look, a tree. Ooh. It stands out from the background for some reason. It really a healthy does. baby tree grows near the spring. There's Can't no reason it. for you to manipulate uh, the small tree in any way. There's a little tiny okay, stream fine. of water there. That's it is a look. natural spring flowing from the rocks. A pool of water collects at the base. Ah, it's super fresh. Let's catch it. You taste mm. it. Ah, fresh spring water. Mm -mm -mm. Unless it unless okay. it just tastes like batteries, you're like, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it's just it's monster energy stream. <laughs> oh no! Wait, Another oh, hole. Ooh. There's a log nearby. Touch it. You're gonna get. We're gonna go look at the, this log with the. You hole peer in into it. the log, Aww. but see nothing of interest. It was a good try. Um, okay. Uh, north or. Look, I'm gonna go. You're gonna go west. Okay, we've explored all the areas okay. that we can reach as far as I can map out in my head. I think this is. I'm gonna just I'm gonna write down up. the stuff on my notepad, but okay. like in my head, I oh wait, there's something there. Go back. Wait, yeah, hold hold on. Right there, there's like a thing. Yeah. Three gold coins. <gasps> oh wait. Money. Oh God. Oh no, you've been caught in a trap. 
Whoever said it will probably return soon. Oh, hmm. God. Oh, God, no, Mecca. Why did we fall for this? Ah, it's the dwarf. Ah, marvelous. What a catch. What is that voice? Oh, God. Tiny little I feel here. like a bit of target practice. No. Look at your accent. Really, dude? Oh, yeah, we're dead. Really? There are safer ways to trigger a trap, or didn't you notice it? No, we didn't notice it, actually. I did not notice it. Okay. Well, on the bright side, we know where to go. So let's get back to this part. <laughs> they were to save before the trap. We definitely want that piece of paper. And we definitely want those coins. I think I have an the idea paper. what we're supposed to do. You well, you, see what if we can thinking? use our sword to... Uh, so what we'll do is we'll save right before we get to it. And then we'll see if we can use, wait, no, this way. Yeah, this way. We'll see if we can use the, um, the sword to disarm the trap, you know, cut the rope and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, up here. He's going to shank you. Yeah, he just threw a knife right at us. There's also a, a lot right. to explore. <laughs> Beware the trap. Beware the trap. Okay, let's. let's oh, there is like a little wire first. there, like a little yellow rope. I did this see large beforehand. fallen log is all that remains of a once grand tree. This large. What's in there? Hello? You peer into the log, but see. No. no. You. P okay. Try using your sword on that rope there. You can actually see it though. There it is. Let's see if he cuts it. Aha. Nice. Thank you. As you pick up the gold coins, they suddenly turn dark. Now they resemble ordinary metal. Wait a minute. Oh. This isn't gold. It's fool's gold. Well. I wonder if we could still use that on the merchant. Quite possibly. We're going to need to save the game once we get into town, though. Yeah. So that way we don't... So we're going to get back... Yeah. We're going to get right to the merchant, and then we're going to save, and then we'll try. With the fool's gold. Also, <laughs> give him that paper first. We'll see if it does anything. Well, we didn't see it the first time we crossed the bridge, so I'm we assuming did not. I'm assuming it's plot critical. Because I was like, "Well, we didn't see the first time." That so is true. It could be plot critical. Yeah. Uh, go. Oh my gosh, Graham. <laughs> I don't wanna go. <laughs> oh, jeez, Graham. Fool's gold or April Fools? Hey, everybody! It's Virix Dreamcore. Oh my god. Hello. April Fools gold. Hit two rocks in the swamp with the full gold iron pyrite. See if you can make the mist explode. <laughs> I don't want the mist to explode with me there, Pelagian. King Graham destroys the swamp of Kalima. Nobody really cares. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, cool. All right. Ooh. That loud. Pull the merchant, maybe? But explosions make everything better. Is this yours? Ah, keen eyes you have. For that, a reward shall you receive. And that would be? The pleasure you will have in doing business with me. That is... Wait, talk to him again? That was the dumbest thing. Greetings again, merchant. Yes, many greetings. Need you have now for my wares of great specialty? What wares do you sell, good merchant? For yourself, behold them. You look over the merchant's wares of great specialty and quickly reevaluate them as junk. You seem to have quite a selection of, well, quite a selection. A keen eye have you. In an item or two, provoke interest, I might? A daunting task. Uh, uh, rather, by all means. This I have. You appraise the object he holds up to you. 
It is a simple shell, intricately fashioned into the shape of a comb. The workmanship is unlike anything you have ever seen. Ooh, fascinating. Where did you find such a thing? Oh, old it is. From ancient times descends. Valuable, without question. Royal property, former, to be sure. You consider his story. Then you begin wondering which beach he found it on. <laughs> Ask him about it. Well, I just want to get that ready. Okay. If I were to, say, purchase the shell, what would it cost? A trifle would you expend seven golds. I fear that I did not bring any money. Curiosity, I find, in one who travels but with nothing to barter brings. Good point. Talk to him again. Talking to yourself, is it necessary? No. <laughs> Might you trade the shell comb for something? The merchant ponders over this for a moment. Hmm. Of value, hmm. many things are. Of fancy, only one I have. And that is? And what's that? Pearls. Ah. Ah. <laughs> we just found one. It's a perfect time. Would you be interested in this pearl? What a ripper. This will be worth a flaming fortune when I get home. Cheers, mate. Here's something for your trouble. As the merchant hands you a beautiful shell comb, you wonder about his sudden looking. change in speech. Why did your accent just change? Huh? What about the accent? <laughs> Mistaken, <laughs> I fear you are. Deceived you, your senses have. <laughs> but I could have sworn. Our business we have concluded. Part now, we shall. Oh, never mind. All right, save the game. Because we don't want to. That was a good exchange. Well, we'll get the pumpkin. That was good. You have the gold. I'm assuming you'll just trade him the money yeah. he just found. Like, hey, here's some gold. It's real. Here's some fool's gold. Yeah, I wanted to see if I can, if I give it to him, what will he do? He would discover too quickly that it is not real gold if you simply handed it to him. Hmm. Oh, it only turns to gold when it's, in, or it turns to fake gold when it's in your hand. How do I give it to him then? Can I put it in here? Let's see. The fool's gold again shines the instant the coins leave your hand. Ooh. I see. Leave the fool's gold in the fountain for now. You just... Why don't you talk to him? <gasps> oh, yeah. Because then I can get... I can stack the pumpkin. Three coins in the fountain. What? Let me see. <laughs> Come on. Oh, get, get, the the, get the pumpkin. Get the pumpkin. Oh, my God. Get the pumpkin. <laughs> Nice. Get out of here before he returns. <laughs> uh, let's get back to Mama Pumpkin. These are remakes. This was originally made in 1985. This remake, I believe, was like the early 2000s. They did a fantastic job. They're half remake, half expansion. Ah, that's a good way to put it. The great pumpkin heist. That was good, Mecca. Mm -hmm. I think we have done good this day. We saved a baby pumpkin. Indeed. Mama Pumpkin, look, I have something for you. Even though now he's pecked, technically he probably won't make... You know what? He's magical. Here you go. My baby! <laughs> Mommy! Oh. <laughs> Look how cute happy. Thank you. Um Graham. Thank you, Graham. Here, take this. Maybe this useless trinket ahead of this will be of some use to you. So if you're right for not enabling me to protect my kids. <laughs> what? The pumpkin hands you a gold brooch with a oh. beautiful blue sapphire. Oh, oh wow. wait. A blue sapphire. I don't know why I the did brooch that. has an enormous sapphire encircled hmm. by two rows of glittering diamonds. Okay, and wait, and we get a, a bowl? Is that a it bowl? is a simple clay bowl. Yeah. We have a bowl. Okay. We'll talk to the well, talk to the pumpkin some more. We are. Is there anything more I can do for you? Me thirsty, Mama. Now that you mention it, <laughs> my baby is feeling a bit poorly. After all, living in a bowl ain't too good for your health, you know? No, I did not know that. 
What would make your baby feel better? Fresh water, naturally. Of course. Not too sweet, though. In fact, the more bitter, the better. My children are very particular about what they drink. I will see what I can do. Well, we know where fresh water is. I don't know if it's going to be I don't too know sweet or not. Too sweet or not. What if we put a lemon Ooh. in it, though? Oh, you're we make it, right. We make lemon. Yeah, the baby just likes lemonade without sugar, maybe? That's just an idea. It was down here, Pro right? I, look, I don't, it's, that lemon's probably going to be used to squeeze into the eye of a dragon or something. <laughs> was it down here, that's the too, stream? That's, that's too simple. Uh, yes, to the right. To the right, okay. Oh, Lord. You have run into an evil enchanter. Get out of here. No, 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 no. That was close, Mecca. Okay. <laughs> he just bottles away. That right. was close. That was. I dodged him. Wait, is the pumpkin from Boston? <laughs> it might be. No, I don't know why the pumpkin's from Boston. You fill the bowl. With fresh spring water. Can you add the lemon to it to make lemon water? After using oh, your yeah. sword to cut the lemon surface, you squeeze some of its juice into the bowl. Then you discard the lemon. Now you have very okay. bitter fresh water. Well, that was easy. Now we're going to go. We play a lot of point and click games, <laughs> so this logic is brown. like it makes sense to us. <laughs> I do have a sword. But it's it's like a wizard, so swords and wizards, you, you can't always guarantee that your sword will beat a wizard because it's wizard. Let's stuff, try it you next know. time. Let's try it next time. Yeah. I want you to I but want you to I want you to fight that enchanter with your sword. I think that'd be yes. cool. King Graham but first we stabs gotta the get this water. Because we have our to death. Poor pumpkin family. Are you sure? Yes. I mapped it out in my head. I see the screens as squares. But if we go up to the next screen, we've just been able to go straight north they go and right. they be right there. Yeah, this is, we're just going the long oh. way now. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. My okay, my, my my map's not perfect, okay? It's in my head. <laughs> Give me a break. Nah, you're fine, man. Here you go, you cutie, little cutie pumpkins. Enjoy. You pour the bitter water over the baby pumpkin. It seems to like that. A lot of electrolytes. Thank you again, Graham. Here, take this. This is a very helpful pumpkin. The pumpkin reaches into her head and pulls out a candle, which she then hands to you. Oh. Are you going to be that okay with us, the candle? That thing has been in my head for as long as I can remember. <laughs> I know it ain't much, but maybe you'll find some use for it. Thank you. Thank Don't you. Don't mention it. Besides, it's really hard for me to sleep with that thing lit up inside my head all night. That's a very fair point. Anything else? Any other cool things? Me back with me. Oh my gosh, that's a cute. Okay, I'm sorry, she's so cute. Good morning. Hagatha has been talking about you. Oh, I heard she her has? mention your name while she was muttering to herself. She does that when she's inspected her valuables. Anyway, I'd stay clear out of her way if I were you. I appreciate the advice. Will Hagatha not be angered when she discovers you've given your candle away? What's she gonna do? Turn me into a pumpkin? Good point. Besides, I could just blame the dwarf. He's earned himself a bad reputation from the day he moved here. Pity no one can catch him. Not even Hagatha. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this pump killer is just like, don't worry. I'll use racial profile. <laughs> <laughs> save? Booze and Bullets oh. says, save? Save? Question mark? We're we're going to we're going to save. <laughs> we've yes, but we've all witnessed what happens. <laughs> Shellcomb. Beware, Hagatha. <laughs> okay. If I may ask. I appreciate all you've done, Graham, but I want to spend some quality time with my children. Now be a good boy and run some other errand. I mean, fair <laughs> enough. I have bothered her enough. I think. And now they turn back you, pumpkin into, lady. into normal pumpkins. Honestly, I don't know why I'm walking this way, because 
Well, I think no that's save a good we place die like to pixels. <laughs> What'd you say? I think this is a good place to to end because we got. I want you to go we find that enchanter and day. stab him in the beard. Oh my gosh! All right, lead us to the enchanter wherever you think he is. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do, wait. Yes, thank you. Okay, since you want to stab the enchanter, I will let you lead the way on this one. No, no, no. We're gonna let you do it. Well, you lead the way though for a moment. Ah, uh, you do it. I think it was like up here also. I can't remember. There. I don't remember exactly where he was. I know he was like. I know he was up here around somewhere. I think okay, it's like maybe hold by on. the cave. No, it wasn't. But here. Oh yeah, he was here before. He was. He he put no, it, he said he's been here it's... before. Here, we'll just we'll just wait a second. No, we we'll have to leave the screen and then come back. Because if he's going to be here, he's going to be here like at the very beginning of it. No. Yeah, because he's too afraid yeah. now that you're armed. I've been armed this entire time. Oh, look. oh hey, this is we new. Haven't, we haven't seen this. The beautiful blue lake has a clear and pristine quality. The beautiful blue. Hold on. I talk to the duck. What are you doing? It is a baby bird, and not a terribly pretty one at that. How dare you! It's just an ugly duckling. How dare you! He's going to be a beautiful swan someday. Hold on, I'm trying to. Is Repress. Uh, King's Quest Five Spray. The duckling doesn't want to get to know you. I don't know if it is, okay, but it's probably fine. just a really good recreation. It's not really that hard because there weren't that many animation oh. cycles for it, so you could probably make, you know, a copy of the pixels with just a, a video capture, and then just do vectors. His pants must be so wet. Yeah, Mecca. I think he. I think he rude the day. Yeah, we'll have to run into him a later time. I think. Yeah. Because maybe he has like a cool <laughs> item that you could go back to the screen. Maybe he has like a cool item, like a maybe he has right, an orb well, you can more. ponder. Nope, no pondering today. No, Mecca, what? the battle must go. Don't be right, fooled fine. by his appearance. For what the enchanter lacks in brawn, he certainly makes up for in brains. There's no chance you. that you could attack him without being zapped by one of his powerful spells. Stab him. No, Mecca, you got this. Don't be f That's literally, I can't These do plants. anything about it. Can I talk to him? You are traveling yeah. through. Like, he's not doing anything to me. Oh, wait, never mind. What did he do? Oh. I'm a duck. What an enchanting <laughs> encounter. Enjoy the rest of your life as his pet. Dead. Well, there you go. There you go. I, look, I was saying, I just wanted to see some actual combat. Unfortunately, you got turned into a duck. So don't do that. That's what that's what we learned. Do not, don't talk to the wizard. He turns you into a duck. Don't go fighting people. You might end up turned into a duck. Anyway, exactly. You're a bird, and not a terribly pretty one at that. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. Anyway, the well duck. then, we'll be back again on Wednesday with more Space Quest with Swick. Ooh, Space Quest. So until then, you guys take care. Thanks a lot for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Have a time. good night, everybody. Dust out. Here on the Courtesy Flush. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm. Have a good week.